actually go through this now. Uh, to begin with, you've got silicon, you've got the mass number and the percent abundance, just like everyone else. The only difference here is that there are three isotopes instead of two, which hopefully does not present any problems for you. First thing you have to do is convert to decimal form. Okay. Now these are all percentages, remember that. So you're going to move the decimal over two spots. So that'll become 0.9223. This will become 0 0.0467. Then this will become 0 0.0310. Now, do not round those, okay? Don't round those. Only round it once you get your final answer. So these are our decimals. We know our mass number, so all you do, you take 28, multiply it by your decimal percentage there, add it to 29, okay? As another possible cause of error, don't leave off that zero. When you move the decimal over, do not forget to add that zero. Okay, you're gonna add then 30 times uh, 0 0.0310. Now this will equal, as I've been saying, the average atomic mass of silicon. So the other big thing that you need to remember to not, I guess, forget would be how you type it in your calculator. Do 28. You can do 28 times 0.9223, okay, plus 29 times 0 0.0467, plus 30 times 0 0.0310. Now, did you get 28.1087? Did you, did you, did a lot of you get this? Okay. Now, rounding, I would round 28.10, actually I'd round it to 28.11, yes, 28.11. Now, the other thing, hey, the other th way that you could do this that actually might matter, oh, by the way, what are the units we're supposed to write all this in? Grams. Not grams. AMU. AMU. Grams would be much smaller. The other thing. When I give you a problem that has six or seven of these in a row, okay, there's going to be something you're going to have to do. You're going to need to do this. You're going to have to say 28 times 0.9223. Okay, you're going to have to multiply these two and then write down the fact that it comes out to be 28 point or 25.82. Then you're going to add it to whatever this is, add it to whatever this is, you're just going to sort of do an extra step. Because this calculator, the green ones, can only hold so many things in a row before you're going to have to hit enter. So you won't be able to type in just seven or eight of these things in a row. You'll have to do it in steps, okay?